Welcome to the JM TV. Fine, I'll show don't talk again, no. On top, President Tinubu administration. Correct, people. We greet you now. Welcome now to this our channel, DJM TV. We are all going get so we and update the happen, no. My people, if you never subscribe to our YouTube channel, make you not waste time again, no. Make you not rush now. Make you not go subscribe, no. And also, turn on that notification bell so that anytime we drop any update like this, you not go get notified. Bye and our Facebook page, we can follow us and we can like. My people, we can give on enter the tour and update who can we come for now this time around. We can watch. Former governor of Ekiti State, where they call I of I or she, don't talk again, no, this time around, then I concerning President Tinubu administration. I call it a waiting in talk. It will say, he supports President Tinubu administration. Well, uh, say on the man is saying a PDP member, but he still raise us chest, say support President Tinubu administration. My people, now inside presidential villa for Abuja, where for go visit President Tinubu, now for talk all these things, so if I make all these things, then known to journalists. On all intentions towards the president of the Tinubu administration, hmm. my people, hmm. it's the talk say if President Tinubu no do way, no act way, no do all what he promised during his campaign. He said if I or she go personally come as go drag a command. Say on a no am now, he go drag a command as well lah. Hmm. My people, I need to see this video. I need to hear what he talk because I know as far as she did they talk. I go play on this video now that I hear all what you talk for this video. Make sure I watch my people. Well, my name is Ayo Fayoshi. I came to share moments with the President and Commander in Chief, President Bola Metinumbo. I am happy to be here. One, to congratulate Nigerians and congratulate the good people of Nigeria to the fact that this is a new beginning, a renewed hope. The steps so far taken can readily give us the direction of this government. Elections have come and gone without prejudice to the courts. But it's no more time for campaigns or selling a political party. It is time to govern Nigeria for the benefits of children yet, yet unborn and those of, those of us that are still here. And to equally let you know that I had a very wonderful time with the president. You seem very alert and very clear in the direction he wants to take the country. But he can't do it alone. He needs all of us. Whosoever is on this saddle is Nigeria on the saddle. And we must stand by him. We must give our best. And I want to tell you that people like me, others like Governor Wiki and Governor Makide and other wonderful Nigerians, we have made up our mind that it is better to stand with a man of vision and to stand with Ashwaju Ahmed Balatinubu for the betterment of our country. That is why I'm here. Let me start with the first one. I mean, the last one. Let me say again on equivocally. I've said it in several fora. I will never be a member of the APC. I am a PDP man. If anything takes me out of a PDP or if I don't do partisan politics again, I will be the husband of my wife at home. It is not, it is not a matter of party. Nigeria is bigger than all political parties and all interest groups. I want to tell you again, you don't have to take an appointment to make a difference. Nigeria is a 200, about 200 million population. We all can be in appointment. Whosoever makes it, either in the APC or in an attempt to have a government of national unity, it's all about service. May I say to you expressly, I am not a desperate person at all. But I don't shy away and I will never shy away to, to give direction wherever I am. I am with this government without apologies. Majority in the past can tell you, even when I was a sitting governor in Ekiti, I've always spoken well of Ashwaju Ahmed Balatinumbu. I never knew today will come. And may I say to you, the agenda that I joined 
in the G5 to pursue is to have a Saddam president. Today, a Saddam president has emerged, and we are all with him. Lastly, I don't know if I have answered the, the three questions. Thank you. Well, I, I, I want to say to you that Nigerians know me very well when President Buhari was to come. From day one, I made it very clear that the president will not do well. I did not hide. I was open to it, and I say it repeatedly. May I say to you, sir, ladies, ladies and the gentlemen of the press, let me tell you, if Ashiwaju turns back on his promise, all he said when he was campaigning, I will be the first to talk. I am not timid, though. And I don't shy away from, from facing challenges. But the man I have seen today, I don't eulogize and I don't, I don't praise to, to call the favor. I am no more a small boy. Let me tell you, the man I saw today, and for the actions we have seen, means well for Nigeria. But if there's any reason to derail, it will not be deliberate. And we will all be able to draw his attention to his brief as the president and commander in chief of our country. Let us be optimistic, let us be hopeful, and let us believe that there will be a turnaround. We are already in the opposition, sir. Uh, sorry? I'm, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing more than opposition. If, if, if the government in power is not doing the right thing, we'll be comfortable, courageous enough to tell the government in power. That was why I told you, when Buhari was president in this country, I wasn't a shy, my, my, I didn't shy away from telling him the truth and the government. And may I say to you, I said it here, that if the president Ahmed Bolatinumbu is shying away from his brief, I, Ayofayoshi Ushuku, will be courageous enough to tell him. You see, I'm 63, I'm not a small boy anymore. That time is gone. There are not boys who will eat a kara and forget your parents. I stand by what I say, and I want to assure you, you don't have to even be in a political party to stand up for an op in, stand in opposition. But you don't oppose when you don't need to oppose, though. You don't fight an innocent person if, it's not, if that person has not done anything wrong. So what do we want to criticize Ashwaju for today? That, in your opinion, <laughs> in your opinion, we should ask you whether you are APC, we should ask you to, any other question? Yes. May, may I say this to you again, that that, that point in time, even if you, if you didn't become the president of Nigeria, all the other aspirants publicly said they would remove subsidy. So that means that's the only way to go. Obi said I will remove. He said it was a racket. Atiku said it's a racket. Certain kabas are enjoying it. Ashwaju said, when I get there, I will remove. He has removed. There's no time you have things going on perfectly. But when we are working towards perfection, things will turn around. A damaged, a damaged house cannot stand up like a new house. You need to repair it to make it what it ought to be. What he did so far, so good. Hey, my people. Fire she, fire she. <laughs> you don't talk again, though. I know you win now. My everything you talk, my people, and the updates will carry from like this. Be this one original and sound. Make sure drop in a comment for the comment session, and make sure don't forget to like and share. Now do well. See you in our next video. DJ TV.